Hi there, welcome to end-to-end -end solution architect session. Today, I'll be talking about Amazon Work Mail. So this is the email facility. It's not like SES or simple email service. It is the email we use like Gmail, Yahoo Mail, and it provides the calendar features as well. So what it says that with Amazon work mail there is no upfront fees no required minimum commitment and no long-term contracts also amazon work mail costs four us dollar per user per month and includes 50 gb of mailbox storage for each user you can get started with a 30 days free trial for up to 25 users well so i am giving a try with few new users with my existing domain in AWS. So let's see how it goes. So here it is get started for free. I'm already logged in into my AWS account and uh, searching for work mail, Amazon work mail. It is asking to create an organization first, create an Amazon work mail organization to get started. So uh, let me give it a try that I want to change the region uh, to Canada Central basically, but it's saying that this service is not available in Canada Central. It is only in the US East, US West, uh, Europe and like this. Well, so let's be in US East one and click on create organization. Okay, now it is saying create an Amazon work mail organization. Okay, so existing route 53 domain, yes. I have the existing route 53 domain already registered over here. I will be using that. Okay, so um, let's scroll down and route 53 hosted zone. Let me select that. Okay, this is my route 53 and enter the alias to use for your organization. So that's fine. I for HR. Well, so it will be basically your alias can have up to 45 characters and it will be uh, the this determines the login url for the web applications like i4hr.awsapps.com slash mail clicking on create organization and once it is creating let me go to root 53 opening in a separate tab and just checking that uh, is there a new record has added had five records before this there are total 11 records over here there were five before so once we added this organization and selected our existing uh, root 53 domain, it added all the records of its own. That's fine. Now we have selected this. Let's go back to our work mail. This is our organization. Now let's go select the organization. So you see this organization details. What it says that uh, now we have the users, groups and resources. Quickly, one more thing is that we see that this is our default domain. And which says that i for hr this is a alias name i have given and aws apps.com but i don't like this aws apps.com because i have already a domain register so let's go to this manage domain on the top right side and here it will show all the listed domains uh, the registered domains you have uh, for this organization basically so in our case, I'm just selecting this i4hr.ca and clicking on set as default. And now it is the default domain for us. So if I go back to the organization, yeah, I refreshed the organization and it's showing that the default domain is i4hr.ca. Now let's create some users. Let me create an user here. So going to user, create user. And it says that the username enables the user to log in to the Amazon work mail web mail. Okay. So it is basically username can only contain the following characters at i4hr.ca. Okay. So this is our username and for email setup, email address is going to be uh, contact us at, there are two options basically i for hr i'm selecting okay and creating a password over here suppose just let me create a password confirming the password and click on create user so i see that the user has been created with the primary email id this well so we have our users created now we will be testing that how to log in 
So if I go back to the organization and select the organization and it says that Amazon Workmail web application. So let's click on this URL. It opens a custom URL like uh, i for hr that is our domain name or the name I have given dot aws dot com. And now it is asking for the username and password. Okay. So let me give it contact us at i4hr.ca that is the username I provided okay and uh, now adding the password and click on and it is signing so it is a brand new email address we created in a new organization in Amazon work mail so here we have the calendar over here we can create new items like a new appointment new email new folder meeting request contact I like this a calendar entry uh, let's go back to our web work mail and uh, let me go back to this uh, organization here it says that uh, let's go to the user select the user the quota it says that you can set up quota which is maximum allowed size and current mailbox is you see that it is 51200 MB that's good current mailbox size is zero and there are few options under organization is groups we can create the groups so if I see that groups create the groups for employee here is the option to create group email basically so it is like distribution list so if I want to create a distribution list, let's see how it works. So suppose I want to create a distribution list for Toronto. So Toronto group, clicked on create group. It has created the group. Okay, now we can add the members over here. So if we add this member, user. Okay, so you can add one group inside another group as well. Nested group if you want to create, but at this time, I just want to add the user so I'm just adding the user suppose this user that's fine so we have created one group as well. so under resources let's see what it is there resources and clicked on resource okay this is resource name okay resource type room and equipment so this is basically the room a room resource identifies location such, a, such as a conference room okay so if you have a conference room or some resources you want to enlist over here you can create the resource like this i'm just going back we have the mobile policies it means that there is one default mobile policy available for your entire organization all users within your organization will automatically have this policy enabled okay so require encryption on device require encryption on storage card that is fine now password required allow simple password and uh, I just don't want to allow simple password so I'm just clicking on edit so this is how you can change it allow simple password no minimum password length should be 8 or make it 10 it is much stronger okay uh, require alphanumeric characters number of failed attempt tens that is fine password expiration let it be I'm not making it so hard enable screen lock that is fine and clicking on save so this is basically the uh, mobile device policy okay so we have our uh, policy defined now going back to the organization and here it says that uh, desktop or mobile apps work mail documentation for setting up mobile clients on that shows the instruction for setting up email clients for amazon work mail so it is basically that setting up for your microsoft outlook clients for amazon work mail if you have mac os or the mobile device clients for amazon work mail well so this is how we were able to create work mail in AWS and created few users and were able to log in and access that web email. Thank you for your time. If you have any queries, please feel free to drop a note at contact us at e2esolutionarchitect.com.
will be happy to help you. See you in our next session.